So what are you making? What are you making? What are you making? Right now I'm making chicken schnitzel. Making a chicken piccata. I'm making a take on Hyannis chicken. I'm making Acadian rapi pie. What? What? Acadian rapi pie. Acadian rapi pie. Yes. I'm making brajole with tomato sauce and homemade orecchiette. On Sundays, this is our special Sunday dinner. On the count of three, lift those boxes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Chef Alvin wheels out this table full of little boxes. They look like fancy little Christmas presents. One, two, three, lift! Oh. <laughs> That's right, root vegetables. There's parsnip, beets, ginger, sweet potato. Jerusalem artichokes, celery root, turmeric, lotus root. Nothing is more literally down to earth than these hidden gems. You can do so many different things with root vegetables. Do I do Asian or Mediterranean? Immediately my mind just starts racing. For this first mystery box, we want you to use these root vegetables to tell us something about your roots. We want to see dishes that demonstrate skill, taste, creativity, and presentation. All right. This pantry, it's amazing. You're looking around, and it's just a wide variety of everything you could ever dream of. Bacon, I'm looking for bacon. Does anybody know where the onion is? Potatoes, parsnip. He's grabbing everything. <laughs> is that any shit? Oh, there's ricotta in there. No, ricotta. Garlic. Where are the green onions? Perfect. Time start! Root vegetable is one of the most common ingredients used in a lot of culture. I'm thinking totally vegetarian and almost like a meal soy of these root vegetables. I tell you, sometimes see root vegetables can be very bland. So I would take meat and make a stew. So all that meat flavor will go into that root vegetable, making it more exciting. I would actually make a multi-layered soup using all root vegetables. Three very different options. <laughs> you know what, I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm making spicy Cajun puree with garlicky mussels. I'm making a cod dish from Newfoundland, making the root vegetable to start. I'm doing a classic French pom puree. Root veggies is just a part of my culture in Quebec. We're having ourselves some hash. Make a rum mash sweet potatoes and roasted root vegetable hash with sausage. <laughs> I'm doing a dish that's uh, near and dear to me. My uh, Daughter calls it pink soup. I'm doing uh, Ukrainian borscht. My family is a big Ukrainian family. Growing up, I watched my mom, my grandmother cook soups and hearty meals for us, so it's kind of a collaboration between everything. Got this. Got to see the size. I'm making a filet mignon with a celery root puree and roasted vegetables. Whoa. One minute. You have one more minute left. We're rooting for those root vegetables. Almost done. Yeah. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and up! The fish is cooked perfectly. The root vegetables, they're definitely the star of the show. They really showcase those earthy, deep flavors. Overall, pretty amazing. It's such a wonderful root vegetable to work with. What comes out is that earthy, slightly sweet flavor. Wow. Oh. It is so good. It's comforting. It's got good balance of flavors. I got the sweetness from the potatoes. Fantastic job. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's amazing. Great job. Thank you so much. The plating is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. It really is a discovery of goodies. This is amazing. I see so many different types of protein. I'm extremely excited. You have leg of lamb, octopus, duck legs, ground beef, turkey, king crab, whole salmon, clams, and pork shoulder. I'm gonna take the crab. Wow. I 
chose the crab because I want to do something creative and challenging and awesome. East Coaster. Josh. Taking clamps. Cliff. Choosing the duck legs. Andre. I need that pork. Oh, this guy's heavy. I'm so glad to work with the pork because I've worked with it so many times. Steven. Ground beef. Chanel. I've cooked every single protein on that table except the octopus. I'd rather go home taking a risk <laughs> if I have to go home at all. I'm going to take the turkey. Thank God. Alyssa is dealing with turkey almost her size, but she is a hunter, and hunters love to butcher their own meat. Wow, like a pro. This is an elimination challenge, and two people are going home, so I need to step up my game. I am making turkey breasts. I'm going to stuff it with some butter and aromatics. I don't like turkey, and I was stuck with it, but that's what I got to work with. I am making crab and ricotta stuffed cannelloni. I am making something that everyone comes to my house for every single year, jerk pork and coleslaw. I'm going to make a pressure cooker lamb ragu. I'm going to use biryani spices. Biryani is one of our favorite things in the Middle East. There's so much happening right now that I don't know where to look. Five, four, three, two, one. Heads up! Wow. OMG. Oh. Damn. So glad I cooked two pieces of fish. <laughs> That is very good. Oh, thank you. I'd be happy to have on my restaurant menu. Oh, thank you. This is a nice medium rare. Let's taste the turkey. Should be the star of the show here. The turkey is very succulent. Maybe it's getting too empty here. Kind of lonely. So we decided to fill up some of that space with our biggest mystery box yet. <laughs> Say hello to your families and loved ones. <laughs> Come here. I miss you so much. It's my wife, Erica. I haven't seen her for a very long time, and uh, <sighs> I miss her a lot. I see my sister, and it feels like a dream. <laughs> you look so cool. It's my sweetheart, Logan. I'm so happy that he exists exactly the way that he does. It's perfect. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, my God. I know. I miss you. It's my husband, Leo. I've only been married a couple months, and he's so supportive of me. He's like my biggest fan. <laughs> How about you? It's my Auntie Joan. She just means the world to me. She has believed in me ever since the start. Is this really happening? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Father in law, Vincent. To dad, Tony. Thank you so much. I wouldn't be here without. Sorry. Um, I wouldn't be who I am, and I wouldn't be able to do the things that I've done here. Um, if it weren't for these people, they're amazing, and I feel very lucky to have them all in my life. I'm oh so, my proud God, so proud of you. So proud of you.